Hi, it's Tyler from Moisture Boss. I've just installed an EDV 115 automatic tank drain from Van Air Systems. Let's take a look at it, see what it involves, and how you can get it set up. So the tank drain is pretty simple. It consists of a timer, uh, a solenoid coil, and a valve body. Um, so important um, features on this uh, timer drain that make it a very convenient device is a shutoff valve. Okay, this allows you to open and close the air supply uh, for service or for uh, making sure the valve doesn't purge air uh, when you're not working, when you go away for the night, so on. There's a strainer that's built right into uh, the body of the valve. Um, you need to have a strainer on a solenoid, a timer drain. Some uh, uh, models, some units, the strainer is sold separately. Here the strainer is built right in. So how it works is inside the, the Y portion of the strainer there's a screen. That screen will catch any debris uh, and prevent the debris from clogging up uh, the valve portion. Okay, on the outlet uh, it's a half inch uh, female uh, port and includes a hose fitting, a hose barb fitting. That's this piece here I'm tapping on. Uh, I've got it threaded in there and connected to my outlet hose. Um, on the drain hose, uh, I've made sure to clamp it to the wall so that when the compressed air goes off, uh, you're not going to be getting, um, the hose isn't gonna flop all over the place. Uh, end of the hose, put it in a bucket. The great thing about this piece too, you can't see it behind the bracket, um, it can either go a half inch um, male or quarter inch female. So I've trying to, chosen to go quarter inch. So I've got a quarter inch pipe nip, nipple going into a brass T. Um, okay, so coming out of the T, um, compressed air uh, hose, 300 uh, pound uh, max working pressure hose clamped on to, um, an, again, another barb fitting that I have threaded into the T. Um, here we've got um, uh, an outlet. So this would be a bypass uh, in case I need to depressurize my uh, compressed air system. This is how I'm going to do it. Um, so finally I run my hose down under, can't really see it there, but under the base of my tank. And I put a little street elbow under there. Um, I'm going to open it up so I'm not bypassing the system that my tank is pressurized. Okay, nice thing here is on the EDV there's a test feature. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it, um, the close setting to the test. Okay, and in just the open time so it's not running too long. I don't have any water in there now. We're going to set it on the test and we should hear it go off in a second. Okay, important thing when you're operating these is you want to adjust uh, the open and close settings, um, usually uh, depending on the season. Um, close time, you know, I would tend to leave it on the higher side uh, to start off with. Uh, leave it closed for an hour and let it open for, I don't know, 10, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, an hour, and see if you're uh, able to purge um, all the liquid that you're creating uh, in that amount of time. Uh, and when you're done for the day, uh, shut off, shut off the air, or just unplug the unit. Uh, Thanks for watching, Tyler from MoistureBoss.com, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.